When we look into the hand Carosa Cam Prefab, you see that there are three light sources, the key light, the fillet and the backlight for the hand cursor. So these three lights are meant to only enlighten the hand mesh. So you can basically use a separate lightning situation for the hand cursor and for the scene around. To do so, you will have to use the layer masks again. If we use the directional light, which is part of the pre-created demo scene, then you can turn it off and you see this light affects both the scene object and also the hand object. If you want to have a light that only applies to the scene objects, then we need to exclude the hand cursor layer. To do so, go into the light source, into the field culling mask, and change the value everything so that you exclude the hand cursor. So we have everything but not the hand cursor. So what we did now is that our directional light enlightens the scene objects but no longer the cursor. We can also see it if we change the value then you see the background is affected by this light but no longer the hand. We can also do the opposite. If you want to have a light that only enlightens the hand, let's do this, duplicate this light source. Let's change the angle a bit so that we see a difference. So and also change the color, for example, to, uh, let's use green. So where is our camera? It's coming from this side. So we should use this, for example. So now we also see it on the cursor. So culling mask everything, highlights everything. And we wanted that the light only enlightens the hand. So let's change the culling mask again to nothing and then only select the hand cursor. So only hand cursor. And in this case, only the hand will be turned green by the light, but not the scene objects.